You know, but look at that. That looked like a warbird coming through there low to the ground. Just over top of a scrub. Nap of the earth flying. Coming in on his gun run. Look at this. He's coming in on his gun run. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. Alright, I got the e Sheen Mini P40 Warhawk out here again this morning. I just made the adjustment on the linkage on the elevator. I still have the linkage on the outermost hole on the control horn for the elevator. But on the servo, I moved it to the outer arm. So let's see the outer hole in the servo arm. So let's see if that gives me um, elevator movement and the Goldilocks zone for this TX-16S. All right, our balloon crew is almost headed out now. One of them is headed out. Okay, so let make sure that everything is working here. All right, uh, launching. So let's see. Let's see if that gets us in the Goldilocks zone on our elevator. Well, it certainly doesn't feel twitchy. Seems to maintain its line. I don't know if I was going to have to trim up the elevator again or not. We'll find out when I put it in manual mode. <laughs> okay. So, let's climb up a bit. Climb up a bit and put it in manual mode and see what we have. Okay, we are in full manual mode now. Just trying to see if my elevator is trimmed out okay. Catching a little wind. Which is why it was ascending there. It was turning in, in toward the wind. No, it doesn't feel twitchy at all. It seems to maintain its line pretty well in um, full manual mode. So I think I've got it there. Full manual mode, guys, with the TX-16S. That's pretty smooth, isn't it? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thought that this would be so smooth? In full manual mode. Trying not to be too abrupt on the controls because I don't want to induce a tip stall. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's climb up a little bit and try a, a loop again with it now that we've got a little pressure battery in it at this point in time. Okay, are we ready? Oh, how about that? We got enough elevator in there now to do a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice loop. Check it out. All right, so we got loops now. <laughs> okay, let's try one of our rolls again. Not too bad. Check it out. All right, we got loops going now in full manual mode. Do another split S. Nice. Yeah, this is it too. This is this is pretty. This is handling pretty nice in full manual mode, guys. Not bad at all. I've got a little more trim work to do on it, but I think that is a pretty good result, don't you? Yeah. Get it trimmed out. Get get your linkage set up where it, where it needs to be. Get your balance on your CG, and that is a pretty nice handling little micro warbird in full manual mode, hitting low wind. 
Not a lot of wind out here this morning. It's only about two or three mile an hour on the ground. But once you get up in the air, it's a little different. Okay, so I put it back into beginner mode. We got somebody coming down the lane here. Let's see if we can bring it in and do a little closer proximity flying with it now. Morning. Isn't that awesome? There's a good shot. <laughs> yeah, if you have a multi protocol transmitter like I do, a hobby grade transmitter, you are going to love it even more. Look at that. So smooth. So darn smooth. <laughs> Isn't that handling well? Yeah, I could not believe. I could not believe, though, that I had to put five grams of nose weight on this, but it certainly seems like it needs it. It was just really, really, really tail heavy. Yeah? Look at this. Look how smooth that is. That is awesome. And except for my um, trim on the elevator that it absolutely did not like on my first two launches, um, this has gone extremely well. Isn't that a great handling little plane? That is absolutely awesome, guys. Look at that. All right. Oh, and I saw last night where somebody had already ordered one of these planes, and they had used my affiliate account. I want to thank you very much for that. Woo! <laughs> Good thing I have enough elevator in there now. I'd have hit myself. Well, but look at that. Look how stable that is. That is absolutely fantastic. I just got to remember, don't pull in more than what it can give you. Which I'm not. I'm not right now. I'm not pulling in more than it can give me. But look at that. That looked like a warbird coming through there low to the ground. Just over top of the scrub. Nap of the earth flying. Coming in on his gun run. Look at this. He's coming in on his gun run. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Especially now that I got it all lined out, man. That is just absolutely awesome. I love it. Okay, here we come. Gun run, gun run, gun run. Oh yeah. Gun run. Get a little lower to the ground here. Gun run. All right, so do you guys think that I love this hobby or not? I am like a little kid every time I come out here and fly. That is absolutely awesome. I'm starting to get my haptic. Okay, so let's get back over here by the road. Figure out where my wind is coming from now. And bring it in for a landing. Gun run. Gun run. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right, it looks like the wind is still coming from the same direction right now, which is good. All right, so let's see if we get another decent landing on it. Coming in fast, coming in fast. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, well, we can't stand for that. I messed it up. Got off the throttle a little bit too fast. Did a touch and go, and then a nose over. All right. All right, let's bring it back around here again. I'm not standing for that. All right, let's get lined up here. Let's get lined up and throttle back. Ah! <laughs> 
Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you see it? It dropped the wing on me there. I got way too slow. It dropped the wing on me and then I gassed it. I did a touch and go and then it touched down again and rolled up on the berm. That was pretty, pretty uh, awesome, even though it was unintentional. All right, so uh, we're not going to let that stand either, are we? No, no, we're not. All right. We've got to get a good landing out of it. All right, I'm going to try to come in a little bit more slowly this time on my approach. I don't have anybody coming, which is good. Okay, so get lined up. Not get off the throttle so much. There we go. Did you see that? I, I didn't touch down nearly as close as I wanted to, but that was a smooth one. It floats. You get it, if you get it just at the right throttle setting coming in, it will descend ever so slowly and touch down oh so nicely. But you don't want to get off the throttle too much because it will tip stall. But that worked out well. Well, he took me three attempts. I think the last time out, it took me four or five. I don't know. He got a really good landing out of it. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy the way it's performing. I'm happy the way it's balanced. I'm happy with the linkage setup and the trim that I have on it. So I'll go ahead and put together my setup file for this plane and my OpenTX model file. And I'll be publishing those on the Facebook page for download for anybody that's interested in it. Even if you don't have an OpenTX transmitter to import the OpenTX model file, the setup file will have a lot of good information in it, like my linkage setup, my trim, all that kind of stuff, the balance, the nose weight, the protocol. So even if you don't have the Open TX transmitter, you might find the setup file very useful for future reference or for setting up your plane initially so it handles a lot better than it did when I first put it in the air. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.